I ain't going down. Do something for me. Just put your hands up. I want to show you something. Put your hands up. The fuck is so hard about that? Hey, Joe, you don't understand. Welcome back for another movie reaction, and today we'll be watching Raging Bull, directed by Martin Scorsese. What I do know about this movie, it's a sports film, boxing, has Robert De Niro, and he won Best Actor. That I do know, because the case that I have, it does say the Oscar winner. So let's get into this. Before we begin, I do want to remind you that you can vote on what I watch, see full-length reactions, and get early YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. If not, just make sure you subscribe or leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. it really helps my channel reach a wider audience, and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But now, it's time for the show. Let's go. <laughs> This is a cool way to do the intro. Actor is out the way, and we can still get the credits showing at the same time. Before Sugar Ray, he would say that the thing ain't the ring, it's the play. So give me a stage where there's bullhick and rage. That's entertainment. Okay, so I think he's just talking about the showmanship in general of boxing. Let's know how to back up. <laughs> another left, a hard left hand is coming out of the left foot Surprise the ref, let it get to that point, to be honest with you. No way, time ran out. She is really laying a soundtrack to this fucking chaos. Live. It's like a piece of charcoal. Bring it over here. Can't wait. Done? No, yeah. I can't wait. About a steak, huh? You're me about a state. He has the accent and the whole mannerisms of someone that was in the Bronx, Italian, in the 1940s down to a T. Hey, you! I'm gonna get hold of that dog. I'm gonna eat him for lunch. You hear what I'm saying? You hear me, Larry? <laughs> Crazy animal. Who's an animal? Uh, he got screwed out of that first fight, but best thing to do is just focus on the next one and keep it pushing. <sighs> harder. Harder. Take it off. Ah, oh, come Take on. I'm gonna stop now. Take That's enough. Harder. Harder. Nah, no, your cuts are opening and everything. I knew someone like that growing up. Tough motherfucker. He would let people swing on him first and then give him a fair one. Hey, Jake, watch you don't hurt yourself. Tommy told him to come up and try to help us. Help who? What's the matter with you? Taking my money? I'm in here breaking my ass. Not done. Shit, I don't know how it is today, but I know at one point, boxing and rigging fights went hand in hand for a good amount of time. I like that. You want water? You didn't try to fuck her? I try to fuck anything. Oh, shit. Go for it. Naturally. Naturally? <laughs> Is that relationship finally over? Like, they just argue constantly. I know to some people that's normal and shit, but damn. Did you ever meet my brother? No, is that him? Yeah. He's gonna be the next champ. Uh, Sticking his chest out and shit. Daddy! He straight brought her home? This is a bold See? motherfucker. That's all I'm gonna say. Sure. See the rest of the place. He's not a man of many words. It's me and my brother. They love each other for sure. I don't know if they're like actually biologically brothers, but they might as well be. I'm across the ring. A left and a right to the head. A hard left hand of the Damn. Out of the ring for the first career. That's some shit that goes in the magazine. He wants to go against Joe Lewis because that's kind of who you have to beat to be considered the great. Well, I have a feeling she's going to be getting pregnant very soon. We're jumping into the fights late into the rounds too, like when it when it actually counts and matters. None of the early bullshit. Shot. Two losses this soon in your career? You're not even at the cream of the crop yet. Look at that, they just got married. He's doing it, he's living it. Damn, we're getting a huge time jump. We're going into the kids? It's only been like three or four years. Now let's say you win. They still gotta give you a shot at the title. There's nobody left, there ain't nobody around. And you do it on your own, just the way you wanted to do it. Is Joe Pesci setting them up to lose? It just feels like he has like some money tied into this 
Maybe he's just in his managerial role. Tell her you're gonna take her out. We'll go out. Listen, though, if you tell her now, put one on the side. Don't say nothing in front of the Lord. So I'm not taking her. <laughs> he's a life manager, not just a boxing manager. This dude is. Oh, well, it's his brother. So. That's the mom over there with Tommy Como. Why don't you come up and have a drink? Yeah. I didn't even see him come in. Charlie Rocks, what are you going to do here? Shit, the way the camera panned in on him and in the back of everybody. Yeah, that dude's extremely important. Powerful guy. Damn, he is jealous. Hey, shut up. I'm gonna smack you in the face. These are, uh, these are She's too terrified to do anything because he'll probably kill her. Break her jaw or some crazy shit. Well, look, let me ask you something. Huh? Yeah, I come to you and I'm telling you, I bet a lot of money on you that's fighting Gennaro, right? Yeah. I knew it. And I bet Tommy was already in on this. And they asked him to try to put that bug in his ear. You ever think anybody else? When we're in bed. You know, like, when we make love. Oh, yeah, I love you. What? Oh, <laughs> that was true. She would not tell you the truth, man. What are you, what are you doing? I don't even know what I said. I don't, I don't even know what he looks like. I thought he hit her like that. They probably cut it like that to let us know a lot of his aggressiveness comes from him being unhappy with his wife. I mean, he seems to be a spectacular boxer. Why can't he get that title shot? Uh, work on elevator. Happened to be there the other day. Oh, I'm not I don't care. Right oh, up. shit, she's out. Know. Stand up guy, Joe. <laughs> did you I didn't see who she was there with, but, but he knew. The husband would know if the wife is stepping out. Take it back, Robert De Niro. I'm sorry, you were right. This Joey, come on. Shut up. Mind your fucking business and shut up. Hey, this is oh, right? Come on, 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 come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> Joe Pesci and Frank Vincent. This is the third movie I've seen them in where they have a fucking fight. I'm sorry, I got all about my fucking nuts. Sorry from everything else, Joey. The family all right? What is it with all the quick answers? Focus has kind of shifted to Joe Pesci's character. Been on De Niro the whole time. He could beat all the Sugar Ray Robinsons and the Tony De Niro's in the world. He ain't gonna get a shot at that title, not without us, he ain't. I'm sure it's possible not doing it, but you need some type of machine behind you. Good news is, you're gonna get the shot at the title. Mm -hmm. Bad news is, they want you to do the old flip flop. You want some to lose? This one to lose. So he's telling them to lose, and he's going along with it finally, or is he fucking bullshitting, and he's really gonna knock this guy out? Come on, stand up! Fuck the ball! Hey, come on! Fuck him! What the fuck's the matter with you? He could have ended that fight right there, and everyone knows it. Little shit like that, it's like, hold on, man. I ain't going down. Do something for me. Just put your hands up. I want to show you something. Put your hands up. What the fuck is so hard about that? Hey, Joe, you don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to get something to eat. What do you want to eat? I don't want nothing. Eat a steak, huh? Damn, she's kind of just disappeared from the movie completely. I just want to say goodbye. Mm, so long, honey. Take good care of that guy, right? Love you. Look at that face. What a face. Oh, man. I can just feel something bad's about to happen. <gasps> hear what I said? Stop that, huh? Shut Stop up. it. Shut up. Shut up. I'll fucking take care of you later. Shut up. This shit does not seem like a movie. This shit seems like I know these people. This feels real. <laughs> And that dude's the champion? I don't think I've ever seen a boxing match in real life end that way. But the person was in the corner and he's like, I can't, we, we ain't doing this shit no more. Where were you? Went shopping to my sisters. Yeah. You know. Out, went shopping to my sisters, you know, as she walks out the room. And he ain't letting that shit go. What'd you hear? I heard some things. <laughs> shit. You heard about me and Salvi then? I heard things, Joey. Yeah, you heard that I cracked Salvi all around. What'd you things, hear? Joey. I heard things. He heard that you found this girl in the club when you whooped that dude's ass and you didn't tell him. I gotta accept your answer, you know? If I hear anything, I swear on our mother, I'm gonna kill somebody. Didn't I say that? Did you or did you not? You're a sick fuck, and I'm not that sick that I'm gonna answer it. You understand, you fucking wacko? You're cracking up. Amazing interactions and dialogue when these two are in the scene together. <laughs> Is cocking everybody else on the fucking street. Fat pig. Oh, oh shit. Nah, she's just saying that to piss him off. She's gotta be. Fucking cock, man, in your town! 
What the fuck is going on? I thought this was a boxing movie. Oh my god! I'm you! I'm worried about if his manager really slept with his wife or not. Not can he win the title? Will he cut the weight, make it in time? This movie shows that life is fighting. Well, his life. Don't leave. I'm a place. I'm a bum without you and the kids. Don't go. You gotta get the fuck out of there. But it's the 50s. Back then, they thought this shit wasn't as big a deal as we know it is now. The tide has turned. No question about it. Ooh. I'm into the road. He is laying people the fuck out. We have yet to see a, a boxer really give him any type of competition. Salvi, this ain't funny anymore. Your mother sucks big fucking elephant dicks. <laughs> oh my God. For the middleweight championship, that great action by Lamotta, he couldn't score the big one. That's it, that was the last shot. There's the buzzer. Look at that, still watching his fight. He wants to see his brother win. Holy shit, what's about to happen? The way everything just slowed down and the lights just... He's about to hit him with a fucking... <laughs> That's probably why this movie's in black and white to spare us the fucking blood that we would have seen. Look at his eyes! Never went down, man. Never got me down, man. You hear me? Never got me down. <laughs> Look at him. You never knocked me down. It's over for me. Boxing's over for me. After a while, you know, you realize other things in life. Look at his face. So his face got permanently swollen probably from that last fight mainly. Standing here before all you wonderful people tonight. Well, in fact, it's a thrill to be standing. <laughs> this dude's a stand-up comedian now? The fuck? So give me a stage where this bully can rage. And though I can fight, I'd much rather hear myself recite. <laughs> that raging bull line coming back up again. It's never escaped his thoughts. How old are you? 21. Can you prove that you're 21? It was a busy night last night. Everything all right? I'm leaving you, Jake. I didn't want tight, so I had everything worked out. This is it, and I feel like this is it. He had to have seen the writing on the wall, though, that it was coming soon. We're from the DA. You recognize this girl? She been on the club. <laughs> She's 14. We gotta go downtown? That's right. Yeah, man, what the fuck? What's the matter with you? Don't you put the dishes so they don't fall down? Oh, get out! Fucking... <laughs> I don't know. This dude used to be a professional boxer. I'm never counting him out. I'm never turning my back on him if I'm a guard. Why? 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 The first night I was here, I said to the owner, Where's the toilet? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hey, why don't you leave me alone? Up yours. You're going to force me to make a comeback. <laughs> You're going to force me to make a comeback? <laughs> That's fucking good. Oh. Joey. That's him? Come on, Joey. Why don't you turn around? Damn, it's to the point where he just didn't even look him in the face and just walked so long since they spoke to each other. Come on. Come on, give me a kiss. Huh? Have me. Have me. Call me. I will. Talent gone to waste. This dude could have been one of the greats, and he just turned into a wife beating scumbag, and he did it to himself. Instead of making me take them dice for the short end money, I could have been somebody. Instead of a bum, which is what I am, it was you, Charlie. That is a very interesting shot. Not just what he was saying, but we see him talking to himself. It's like he's reflecting on himself through a reflection. <laughs> That raging bull to the end. Once I was blind and now I can see. Blind and now I can see it can be taken literally since this is a boxing movie. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Raging Bull. Damn near the same cast as Goodfellas. Joe Pesci and Frank Vincent fighting again. You gotta stick with what works. And I think Goodfellas was a biography. 
I think Casino was based on someone too, even though they both were dramatized, they were based on actual people. So I'm curious if this was based on someone's actual life too, an actual boxer. I'll, I'll look it up after this. But if you guys know who in the comments, I mean, you can let me know more. Another thing that Scorsese did again, besides using the same actors, was using time jumps. The movie opened up just like Goodfellas or Casino and The Irishman that as well and that was also joe pesci and robert de niro it opens up in the future and then it jumps back and some things are staples joe pesci is usually the most wild guy in all those movies he had his little moment in this but the person who was the terror so to say was robert de niro and it's usually the other way around the actress did a great job as well and i've seen her in other stuff older in the movies i've seen her in i just don't know her name but she did a great job acting as well she wasn't in it for that much but she definitely played the out of love beaten wife i don't know why she played it so well she's a great actress that's why the acting in this film was great all around obviously robert de niro being the star carried the movie and he did a great job if i'm thinking of the best movies i've seen him act in i would say godfather 2 is still my favorite even if that's not his best acting that's my favorite robert de niro role you know and, and there's movies like taxi driver all his early movies i haven't seen this is the first really young robert de niro movie i've seen so if, if his movies are like this where that's where he was at his peak let me know i will get into those because while his current movies like goodfellas casino are great in my opinion joe pesci is my favorite character in those movies i just haven't seen the movies where he's really the the heavyweight and carrying the load through acting and the theme i picked up on it pretty early just fighting throughout for your relationship for your friendships for your kids Everything is a fight, and sometimes you can give in, you can take a fall. It's all about how you bounce back. Yo, but I didn't fall, but I didn't fall. That's the thing he kept stressing to Sugar Robinson. And even right now, the movie ended. He's still up. He's still, he's not down. He's not out. You can't count him out. He's a raging bull. I don't think about this stuff until like the recap and I actually say it. Like, it's funny, like how, how revelations are had. Because when you watch it, it's not the same as, like I make connections from earlier in the movie and stuff like that. That's... That's what good movies do. This was still a boxing movie. It was still a sports movie. I would put that as what it was before everything else because it had the scenes of him cutting weight, showing how important that was. When he took the loss or he had to take a dive, it like rocked him to his core. And De Niro did a great job of acting like a boxer who really almost couldn't live with himself if he had to do that on a consistent basis. Almost once broke him down and his team completely. And the dude's like, you could just fucking retire. Just retire. Don't do it like this and the fights being fixed all that made it feel like a real boxing movie so much stress on getting the belt because that is the goal when you're a boxer you just want to get the belt you can say you were the champ now people can call you champ for the rest of your life just because you won it that one time it, he was a good boxer he's not someone that just had a lot of heart he could have been up there with the greats but everything else in his personal life just fell apart and he he didn't play the game is definitely a cautionary tale and the thing is he tried to do it the right way professionally but personally that wasn't the focus on on keeping in track if he put as much focus into his personal life as he did being a boxing legend even if he wasn't one of the greats he would have still been a hundred times better off than how he did when the movie ended it didn't bother me when i saw it was going to be in black and white clearly it's like okay so they're going for the old time look or maybe this movie's just that old i didn't really check the year i think it's made in 1980 but now i'm starting to think that was because of all the blood like sin city like let's just make it black and white that way we can go od with the blood and all that stuff and you can show it anywhere really because it's not it's black we know it's blood but it's not the same as actually seeing it because th then it turns into gore here it just turned into kind of like oh like uncomfortableness everything is kind of black and white in his life he doesn't try to be too smart or try to read a whole ton of books he just goes off of his pure feeling the raging bull and that's what made this feel real it's a space for acting to just for great acting to just take over there was almost no score it had like a documentary feel this is an actor's movie i feel like this is the type of movies actors would want to do because de niro killed it he i'll say it again he did not seem like he was acting this shit seemed like he was someone that got casted and doing a movie like this and that's just his real personality and that's why they casted him because it's so easy like that i couldn't imagine seeing a movie like this back then and then meeting de niro in real life so i can see why he won best actor for this usually i don't know what awards people won before i watch it but it literally said in the description for this like he won best actor for this role martin scorsese he has a, a rapport with these actors he knows what type of situations and dialogue and just make them shine again you stick with what works and the last thing i just want to talk about how de niro's face getting progressively swollen as the movie went on most boxers don't look like that when they get older and that came mostly as a result of the last fight 
all because he didn't know how to go down and that's how you got to know when to go down it ties into the whole theme of the movie you look at things and you reflect on it and you see that that was within the scope of what the theme of the movie is fighting not going down he's a raging bull if anything stood out to you in this movie or there was anything i might have missed please tell me about it in the comments below i hope you enjoyed watching my reaction all i ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet you can also vote on what i watch see full length reactions and get early youtube edits on my patreon through the link in the description you guys are the best we're family you know that that's it for me until next time spread peace and love i'm out